If you make videos with any sort of regularity, at one time or another, you've probably wanted to film a top-down shot. But if you've ever actually tried to film a top-down shot, you probably know that it's actually pretty frustrating to get right. Last year, I found a really cool piece of equipment that I've been using for my overhead shots, but before we get to that, let's start out with something that most of us already have, a tripod. The simplest way to film an overhead angle with a tripod is to just put the tripod over your subject and tilt the camera down. The tricky part, however, is to not get the tripod's legs in the shot while still being able to achieve the framing that you're going for. Depending on the size of your tripod and your filming surface, you might be able to just place the tripod directly on the surface itself. So with many more basic tripods, you can usually get a good result. It just sometimes takes a lot more effort to get there. And more advanced tripods like this Manfrotto one that I've had for years actually have the option to extend and reposition the center column horizontally specifically for an overhead shot. And it's worth noting that doing this actually makes the tripod much easier to tip over since all of the weight is at the front. So it's a good idea to add some weight to the back of the tripod or at least position both of the tripod's legs up against your filming surface so that it will prevent it from tipping forward and you know breaking all of your really expensive stuff. And it's actually also usually easiest to position the tripod on the opposite side of the table from you, which just means that you're gonna have to flip the footage in your editing software since you'll be filming upside down. And depending on your specific setup, you might actually be able to position two of the tripod's legs on your table directly with the third leg on the floor for additional support. This is pretty ideal because it makes it easier to position the camera exactly where you want it and get the framing exactly how you want it to be. If you're like me and you film a lot of overhead shots, I think it's actually worth investing a bit of money in a piece of gear specifically designed to get the job done. Last year, I found this Glide Gear overhead rig on B&H Photo for $200. Now this is in no way a sponsored video. I just found this piece of equipment, I've been using it, I really like it, and I haven't really seen a lot of people talking about it, so I just wanted to share it because it's such a really cool, useful tool. This overhead rig lets you mount your camera directly above what you're filming and gets all the other mess out of the way. It's super sturdy, the entire thing is made with metal construction, and the base has holes in it which allow you to permanently attach it directly to your filming surface. But I've found that it's pretty sturdy on its own and I like the freedom to move it to a different location if I need to. So mine actually just hangs out in the corner when I'm not using it and then I just move it in when I need it. Now for this video, I've been using my Sony RX100 as a prop camera to just show how the rig works. But I usually use my Canon 6D Mark II when filming with this stand, and it's never had any issues supporting the weight of a full-size DSLR and lens. In fact, sometimes I actually film with the camera's battery grip attached, which makes it way bigger and way heavier, and I still haven't had any issues with the rig being able to support the camera. Now, of course, you could attach a ball head or some other kind of mount to make the rig even more versatile in how it lets you position your camera, but I've just been using the super simple quarter 20 mount that came with the stand when I bought it. And aside from the fact that it works like a dream, the biggest benefit to this rig specifically is its insane versatility. There are quarter 20 mounts everywhere on this thing, on both of the side supports and all across the main top piece. So these give you a ton of options to mount not only your camera, but also lights, monitors, audio, and more. Basically, it makes it really easy to set up and get exactly the style you're going for when filming a top-down overhead shot. So all in all, if you only film top-down angles once in a while, then chances are the tripod that you probably already have is good enough to get the job done. But if you incorporate a lot of overhead shots into your work, then I think it's definitely worth investing a little bit of money to get a dedicated piece of equipment like this Glide Gear overhead rig. I'm telling you about this stand specifically because I've had such a good experience with it, but also because I haven't really seen anything else quite like this. It seems to be a pretty unique, one-of-a-kind product, and even though it costs $200, which is a decent chunk of money, I think that if you film a lot of these shots, the time and the headaches that it will save you are more than worth the price that you're paying to get it. So again, I hope this was helpful. I see a lot of people using overhead rigs in their videos, and I'm always super curious about how they set up those shots because I know how challenging they can be. So for me, this is the sturdiest, most hassle-free, easy way to get a nice overhead shot, but if you have any specific methods or techniques or tools that you use, I would definitely love to hear about them in the comments down below. 